So hello and welcome back to the Rusty Gears server. Um, hello. Uh, <laughs> so what do you think? This is uh, the finished article. Well, outside finished article. Um, yeah, I really like it. I really like the work they've put into it. And it looks pretty darn spiffing, if you ask me. So in today's episode, we're going, to be, we're going to be having a little bit of a talky episode. Um, not the usual uh, mass progression type of episode. We're going to do a little bit of a talky episode. Um, because it's been a couple of weeks. It's been a couple of weeks since I've done a, a recording. It's been a couple of weeks since I've even even played much on the actual server. Um, and I'll, I'll get into that as we, as we progress through the video. But yeah, so what do you think of the actual build? Um, I'm really happy with it. Um, the footprint on the map, it's, <laughs> it looks huge. Let me just go inside. Oh, we've got drifters inside here. We'll get rid of him first. Naughty boy. Naughty boy. Go away. No, 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 go away. There we go. I'm going to nap at the moment. Otherwise, I would chop you up. Anyway, there's literally nothing inside. There's just stone still down. I put down a wall. I don't like the colour of it, so that's going to be changing. I'm think I'm going to. I think I'm going to go for brick actually, because everything else is wood. I might do the actual walls inside as brick. Now I do have a few lights down here, so I've got a few lanterns, but I need a heck of a ton more. So in today's video, uh, we're going to be doing just progression. Uh, it's, it's just going to be basically doing bits and bats uh, to where I I need to get to. Um, uh, for doing the internal side of this actual build uh, because we need to put in flooring up here oh I can, I can hear another one I'm sure there's one around somewhere so we need to put a flooring up here and a flooring over there as well so um, how about we pop over to the shack where is he growling from I'm not too sure I think probably just outside the door isn't it I think so let's have a look Right, close that and let's uh, let's go for a jog. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And close the door. Right, happy days. Right, so the time is a quarter to nine, so there's no point sleeping as yet. So the few things I want to get going today basically. I need a new pickaxe, I need a new axe, so we're gonna be doing that on camera as well. Um, I also basically need to get some more flowers and I think I'll start off with getting some food. So this is both rotten. That's an easy trick to get rid of rotten food. Q and Q and Q. Uh, yeah, that's how you get rid of her. Uh, that's how you get rid of it. Simple as that. Just basically throw it in water. Come on. Stop lagging. There we go. And I pop the rest of that inside there. There we go, filling up nicely. All right, let's get some food cooking, and then we can start talking about what the heck has been going on with the channel. So, I haven't recorded, I haven't even really played in about, about two weeks, uh, because I've been really, really poorly. Um, um, most of, I think, I won't say most, but some of you may know I basically have quite a few health problems at this moment in time. Um, people who have been with the channel for longer will know more about it. Um, but in essence, um, I have a problem with my parathyroid gland, which controls your calcium levels and it controls your muscle functions and um, your tiredness levels and pretty much everything else. Um, and I had an operation a little while ago where they removed three of my four power thyroid glands. Unfortunately, that didn't do much. Uh, it didn't change anything. So I still had the same issues as I had before. Tiredness, falling asleep, all those type of things. So yeah, I had surgery on that. Um, it would have been probably not quite a year ago, uh, but I reckon probably about eight months ago um, to move three of, the, three of my power thyroid organs. Um, but unfortunately, that didn't work. Uh, it didn't work, um, and my calcium levels are shot through the roof again. Uh, so I've been put on meds, and these new meds I've been put on is to control uh, the amount of calcium in my blood. So it's to reduce it down because I've got too much. 
Uh, and they've just floored me. They've just floored me. So I mean, I've been on them for about two weeks. And um, the tablets mixed with basically my ongoing condition anyway uh, has just meant basically I can hear a wolf. I was done inside here. So I'm guessing he's just outside my door. Oh yeah, he's just outside my door, isn't he? Hmm. Yeah, been having a few more problems with wolves of reason. Anyway, sorry. Uh, as I was saying. Um, so yeah, um, I've been really, really struggling with tiredness and everything else, um, and I've just not had the energy to play on the server for about two weeks. Um, I completed most of the actual build around about two weeks ago. Um, but I've just not been able to get back on. Um, when I have come on, I've only been on for a little while, not so, you know, not very, very long at all. Um, but it's one of those things. It, it's you know, it can't be helped. Um, at the end of the day, I wish basically I didn't have the problem. Um, but there's nothing, there's nothing no one can do about it anyway. So you can just get on with things. Anyway, so. Because I don't have the energy to do massive, massive progress, um, I am basically going to be just doing um, just odd jobs around best of the area, the base, which is needed. I, I don't know why, but I do seem to be experiencing a lot of lag. And I mean a ridiculous amount of lag at the moment. <laughs> right, so how's that cooking? So we're fine now to have a, to have a sleep. So yeah, um, so in today's episode, it's just me the day-to-day -day stuff that I usually do, which I do not show on camera, ever. So guys, I am up here in the old windmill, because uh, we need to make a few things. So I need an iron pickaxe, I need an iron axe, I need a iron um, shovel, uh, and I also need an iron, I think, knife? No, uh, iron hammer as well. There should be another hammer inside here with a little bit more durability than the one I've got. Here? Oh yes, plenty. Actually, I'll skip out the iron hammer then. And I'll basically get myself an iron knife. So, um, I've got myself a, a little bit of uh, coal here. I'm going to build all these up. In some respects, making actual iron tools sometimes can be seen a little bit easier. Um, I don't. I, I, th I think it depends on who you're talking to. To be honest, uh, some people see it easier. Uh, some some say it's basically it's very convoluted. Uh, I'm I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle about that. Um, for me personally, if you're working on it anyway, uh, and if you've got like a, a held hammer set up, you can make the iron bar uh, and literally straight away you can basically make the um, make the tool that you require anyway. So, I don't know. Um, no, actually getting the actual um, blooms themselves, that's a bit of a faff. You know, you have to pick up the ore, to then to break it down, to cook it in the actual bloomeries, to get basically the actual uh, blooms themselves, then to cook it again. So yeah, you have to work it a couple of times and stuff. But if you do a lot in one go, it's not too bad. Um, I know Nathan basically likes to Likes to convert as much iron as possible to the actual uh, iron bars. Uh, that's his particular his particular way of doing it. He likes to doing it that way and stuff. Where others like myself and probably a few others, but I'll just make it when, but basically when I need it. What's the temperature? See, I like to let it get to around about a thousand. To be honest, so it's nine hundred is all right. Yeah, we'll do nine hundred. There we go. And. Whoop. So I do like to try to help out with this a little bit. So give it a view. But try I try to let it help I'm gonna do most of it to be honest. Now unfortunately today is a little bit of a uh, not windless day, but it's not exactly blowing a gale. I'm just lucky that um, my windmill is so close to water so I get I do I do get a little bit of a an added perk. And I did perk from being close to the water where 
Other people's windmills may be completely flat and dead at the moment and not spinning at all because of next to the actual water and stuff. I get a tiny, a tiny, a tiny little bit of a, a tiny little bit of an extra perk from it. Come out, come out, come here. Uh, come out, come out. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we're almost there. One more bit. Yeah, I need a few more. So if you do it this way, it is a lot easier. I'm actually saying that. I'm going to keep this actually warm. Keep that warm. I'm just going to go straight into the first. There we go. And we'll place you back down. And we'll make a pick. There we go. Pick axe. There we go. Pick axe head. And spin. Da -da -da -da. But yeah, I, I usually like to make a few tools at one go. So I'll try and wait as long as possible. Because um, it's a little bit time consuming doing all this. But uh, this is one of the jobs that, you know, needs to be done quite regularly um, by pretty much all of us on, on the server because we all gather so many resources uh, throughout basically the, our, our playthrough of this game and stuff. We go through um, Iron Lack, it's normally business. Um, Hippie, will, Hippie will tend to basically try to get to steal quite quickly. Uh, she does that also in her, her single player as well, uh, where others will take the time. Um, but most of us try to aim for steel, just because obviously it is a better tool. Um, it's a shame we don't have some form of enchantments, but I suppose um, I suppose the way that they've done it in this game, it's more in a case of because we have the different size ores, as in basically you can get medium quality, poor quality, you know extremely large quality, um, sorry, quantity, not quality, um, extremely large quantity um, of ores uh, in, in an ore vein and stuff. I think it's their way of saying, well, there you go, that's, you know, you don't need, um, you don't need Fortune 3 type of thing, because you've got, you've got, you know, access to all these different size um, ore chunks, you know, ore veins. So I, I, I can see where they've gone with that one. Instead of having to basically put fortune um, on a piece of equipment, they just made the the ores, uh, the ore chunks and ore veins and stuff different sizes, um, which is a different take on it, a different way of doing it. It's neither good nor bad. Um, I am uh, I'm, I don't mind either way they do it. Now there is an update coming up very very soon. I don't know if anybody's been checking out the old. Uh, uh, the old updates when it comes to vintage story, but um, supposedly Tyrone uh, is um, he's not one hundred percent finished, but he's getting there. He's getting there, so I can I can, I can see possibly uh, in the next probably month or so we're probably gonna have one dot seventeen rocking out with the new water mechanics and the new animals. So we're getting um um. It, they looked like springbok um, for the savannas. Uh, so spring, it's, like, it's like a deer, basically. If anyone doesn't know what a springbok is, give me that. Thank you. And this time we are going for just a normal standard X head. There we go. Spin. Um, yeah, so. Oh, I didn't want to do that, did I? There we go. I'll back a little bit. There you go. So yeah, um, there is going to be plenty of new mechanics uh, in the new uh, um, update. I think basically pretty much water, me water mechanics are going to be changing massively. Um, hopefully it's not game breaking. Uh, let's, let's not do that. Eh? <laughs> um, I, think, I think sometimes devs have an have a over tendency to... Um, Overcomplicate a game when it's not really asked for or even needed, but uh, I suppose um, you know they know best about the game. You know they are the, the, the other ones who are developing it. Um, Tyrone has got a vision um, for the game, um, and it's just a case of um, yeah, we just kind of watch this space as we are progressing through all the new updates uh, we do as well. And turn, turn around. Just helping me out a little bit. There we go. Right, so I'm going to craft the last two off camera. 
uh, and I'll bring you back uh, when it's all done and dusted. All right, guys, see you in a second. Howdy guys, welcome back. So um, I've made up my tools. So we have a new pickaxe, we have a new axe, we have a new shovel, we have a new knife as well. So where I'm at the moment, I bring up the big map. So we're, this is Ash's base and this is the winter farm. So, so sorry, it's the summer farm. That's the winter farm. Uh, I'm just replanting the flax fibers. I do this on a regular basis. Pretty much when I come on the server, I always check if this is grown or not. So me and Ash have always got a constant supply of actual flax twine um, that way we can pretty much do whatever, do whatever we want if we wanted to basically put up a new windmill we can do uh, break that down I can't use this center bit because the actual nutrient levels are too low but I can use the outside bits which is cool the school brilliant stuff so yeah um, so this is another thing that I do pretty much uh, on a not on a day to day basis but whenever I get on the server <laughs> the solver whenever I get on the server I come over here and basically make sure if it's grown I will harvest it and I always split it between me and Ash um, but yeah uh, so I'm going to basically finish up doing this uh, and I will meet you in um, the uh, tulip base the tulip base alright guys see you in a second Hi guys, I'm back up here. I'm back at Ash's base. Uh, so what I normally do with her twine and stuff, I'll either put it in this one, like I say, I try to keep it topped up. So that's Ash's and that's Ash's as well. I've already basically halved up the actual flax and I've put it in her little cellar as well. So Ash has always got a constant supply of as much twine as she, as she wants. Um, Ash doesn't play as much as some of the others, and neither do I. So it's just my way of you know helping out a little bit for Ash. Um, and obviously, got, I also also put it inside here as well. If I have any stuff that I can share with her, I'll put it inside here as well. Uh, and I'm actually going to put the remainder of the seeds inside here. There we go. And that way, basically, she's got she knows basically I haven't been able to do a full a full plant, but uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, so so that's basically one of the actual jobs that I do on the server on a on a general basis. What time is it? Oh, it's um, it's almost bedtime. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna steal Ash's bed. <laughs> I'm gonna have a bit of food first just to top me up. Oh, we're gonna need a bit more than that, buddy. There we go. But yeah, one thing I have noticed though in my own base area and in this and in this and in this area as well. We seem to be getting quite a lot more wolves. Um, we never used to struggle that much with wolves, but we do seem to be getting a heck of a lot more of recent. Uh, let me put my chest down. So I can put the flax inside there. There we go. There we go. And there we go. So yeah, I also made a new chisel as well. And I do have a scythe um, from when I've been... Um, when I've been doing all the actual cutting of grass, uh, I bought another watering can uh, because I bought a watering can from um, Apache's place. Uh, and then we, we, all, we, are, we are going to be going over to the shopping district in today's episode as well. But one of the other jobs I want to do next, I tell you, I tell you lots of little jobs there. This is what, what happens usually on the day to day on this server. Lots of little jobs that you have to do and stuff. I want to grab. Uh, some bold, oh, I'm there. I want to. I'm gonna grab some bold cypress seeds, and I want to sell them from my shop, because I think people would much prefer to have the seed to buy, and they'd be prepared to pay a little bit more for the seed, um, than they would basically just the actual wood themselves. So if I was to get, oh, I don't know. I reckon I could collect at least, at least half the stack, so maybe 32 bold cypress seeds, without destroying all my bold cypress. Um, and then I could probably sell that. Um, a good price though. Um, five seeds for five gears? I think that's reasonable enough. Five seeds for five gears. It's a very rare trait. You only get them, you don't get them all over the place. You get them near the redwood forests. And that's pretty much all. And it's such a lovely wood. Anyway, I'm going to have a sleep. And I'm going to meet you back over by my bold cypress trees by my base. All right, guys. I'll see you in a second. Let's have a kip first, though. Hello.
Hello again, it's me again. So I've got my iron shoes. So I'm gonna just try to trim off the bottom parts of these trees. So these are both cypress trees. Because I don't wanna get rid of all of these because I quite like this area as it is. Um, so I don't want to make it look absolutely silly and ridiculous and stuff, but I just want to trim it back just a little bit to see what type of seeds we can get. And I do have even more bold cypress. Oh, there we go. I do have even more bold cypress behind my actual base. So my base, oh, what am I stuck on? Oh, that's what I'm stuck on. Uh, so I've got some more bold cypress uh, behind my base, which is over there as well. So if need be, I, I, can, I can actually chop some of them down. There we go. See, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to slash and chop every, every single bit down. I just, wanna, I just want to cut, cut back a little bit. Maybe there. And I know this isn't the best way to get seeds, because the best way to get seeds is to get rid of all the leaves. But like I said, I want to keep this area as nice as possible. But I don't have a problem basically with. Um, chopping back a little bit some trees in my actual um in my actual oh stop freezing oh look at that freeze in my actual area oh it's fr frozen again wowzers there we go see it's not looking too bad still so that's good enough. not so bad well let's see how many we've actually picked up so far i'm not i don't think much so we've got two so far oh my word right so i'm going to pick about about halfway down Actually, we'll pick the we'll, we'll pick up the back layer. How about that? And let me get some uh, some of that down. Right. So, so we'll do the back trees. How about we do the back trees? Oh, it's freezing all the time. Really bad. There we go. Let's go up. Now, I have had to change my settings a little bit um, because we do. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's just this. The age of the server now, maybe it, 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 does, does that affect things? Um, I'm not entirely sure with that, to be honest. Um, you know, as a world st it gets older, do you, do you just get more and more lag as it's progressing and stuff? I don't know. I can't even answer that question. I'm not too sure myself. But we do seem to be you know, experiencing a lot more lag, uh, and again, it might it might just be me, to be honest. There we go. I'm trying to get as much of these leaves as possible. Because these are just the back ones. Come on. There, man. there we go. Now, unfortunately, Bald Cypress is a bit stingy when it comes to the old... Um, when it comes to uh, seeds. <laughs> it's very stingy when it comes to seeds, actually. I saw another one drop, anyway. Oh, hello guys, welcome back. Uh, so we've got an absolute ton of sticks. That's a good start. 433 now, oh my god. The amount of flax we've got as well, flax twine. Uh, and I managed to get 25 seeds, which is excellent. I'm gonna divide up to five each. Now, I do have all these logs, and I do have more bold cypress logs, and I'm not using them anymore. So I think I'm gonna sell them in my shop as well. So I think that sounds quite good, actually. As like an introductory offer, put you away, because I don't need you anymore. I'm going to put this food away as well. Uh, I won't bang you inside there. So I'm going to bite to eat. I'm going to bite to eat. And we also need to bring our chest down. I need to add my flax to what I've got here. So, <laughs> there we go, 466 flax. Wine. It's a good number, isn't it? <laughs> so, what else have we got? Um, don't need that in a moment. Right, so if I put you... Push it, push it, push it, drop down. I'm going to put you inside there for time being. At least I know where you are. So, there we go. Right. Do we need it? I'm going to take my money. Because I want an empty chest as well. There we go. That will do. That will do fine. Uh, right, I want to swap out you. I need to get some food in my tummy. There we go. Because we're going to go to the shopping district now. 
because I want to buy some stuff as well. Um, right, so you're empty now. There we go. Freeze up an inventory space anyway, doesn't it? Oh, no, don't want you. There we go. I'll have you back. There we go. And there we go. Right, so I'm going to fill this up with logs. I'm going to take them out. And then I'm going to pop into the actual base to pick up even more of those logs. And then we're going to go and sell them. Uh, do we need you? Just to get. Oh, that's what I want to take as well. I want to take some nuggets because I want to buy some. We get some more gears off um, Apache if he's got any more. So one, two, three, four, five. There we are. Sure. Should be fine. There we go. Up there. Right, let's have a look inside the actual base. Yeah, and uh, if you hadn't guessed, basically I bought quite a lot of flowers off Nathan. So I basically got all these flowers around here. And we've got a little docks going out. And I basically wanted to buy even more flowers off Nathan because obviously of all our bees. Now all these are harvestable now. Um, so all I need to do is get some more skeps. So I've got my reeds over there, which I can cut back and make some more skeps as well. Uh, I think this area is a little bit laggy because of the bees as well. So we're going to go into our base. I want to put more flowers around here as well. Come on. Yeah, really, really struggling for frame rates, and yeah, the lag is uh, the lag is really quite bad. So, what have we got here? Oh, I've got 64 here. There we go. That's all them out. So, if I put you in there, if I bring you out, there we go. Put some more inside there. There we go. I'll pop a few inside there as well. Might as well. Might as well. There we go. What's inside there? Nope. That's empty now. Inside here. Nope. Don't need anything from there. Don't need anything from there. That's fine. And that's okay as well. Right, so let's go over to do, what time is it? It is half past five. Ah, plenty of time, plenty of time. We're gonna go over to the shopping district. Um, I'm gonna basically take the waterway route. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, technical issues all sorted and done and dusted. I just need to change a few settings in the actual game so basically it wasn't lagging every two seconds which is brilliant for me now right, so first thing i want to do is basically i want to sell as it's daytime now i want to sell the copper uh in a shan uh, in ashantins in apache's um copper seller <laughs> um no it's not a copper seller. it's basically it's a trade or mat the trade or mat functions what was that just saying it was a rabbit rabbits have gone right so which one does copper oh that one does copper so we'll try how many I can get with them oh lovely uh, here we go I don't know how many is going inside here uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be clearing them out no worries a no worries a patchy I will be buying some stuff from your shop in a second anyway so because I want to get some more vases you and then it. there we go and then you and a deal there we go and a you and a deal yeah yeah so how much copper oh, i've got a bit left it, it, do i have enough to buy no okay right so we have 19 gears to spend happy days happy days right, so the first thing i want to do i want to go into apaches uh because i want to basically get some bits and pieces from him so I want to get some more planters so the planters are what's the price uh, prices are oh yeah one all items one rusty gear per item slot unless prices are given separately so I want to get two planters one and two so that's two of those we go one two one two there we go uh, and then I want. Ooh, did he come as a four pack? I'm not too sure. Did he come as a four pack? Hmm. Did a bowl sell as a four pack? 
Crocs, Anvil, Brick Clay, Cooking Pots, Flower Pots, Helve Hammer Moulds, Storage, Hoethels, uh, Bowls. Yes, they do come as a four pack. So I want to get. Ooh! So the one each. So. So the one each. So that's one, uh, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six. So that's six plus the eight. Uh, no, six plus the two is eight in total. So that's eight. I need to give you, my good friend. Happy with that. Got, uh, yes, we've got lots and lots of balls there. Uh, da -da 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 oh, payments. There we go, buddy. And there's your eight rusty gears. I don't know. I know what you're going to be saying, basically. You just got the rusty gears from him. No, but I had, I had rusty gears before, you see. So the eight that I just gave him was from the sales from my shop. Ah, see, see, see. I'm not, I'm not a con artist. So next, uh, Jay's Warehouse of Raw Materials. I'm not too sure what he's got at the moment, so let's have a look. Because for a little while, I was buying uh, the actual slate uh, from my roof, but since then, uh, I've found my own slate. Uh, I found quite a lot of it uh, because I couldn't I couldn't afford it. My shop is not doing the best so let's look let's check, check over the old cheddar meister. Old pops. Old popoly cheddar. Ooh. Oh mm. uh, mm. I've got 120 copper nuggets now. Darn Oh well Doesn't matter. Right, so so I'm never got left now. I've still got 11 gears, so we're going to go over to Nathan's next. Go to Nathan's, which I have been um, pretty much taking the vast majority of his flowers. There we go. There, there we go. Right, we're going to have to Nathan's. Oh. There you go. <laughs> right, so. So 32 flowers per gear, 16 flowers per gear, or 8 flowers per gear. So I do like these. So I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna clear this out. So you can go up there. No, you're there. So you, so there we go. I'm gonna put them there. So that's eight, so eight, 16, 24. We've got some planters there as well. I'm gonna put my food all the way up here. So it is 32 flowers for one gear. So we've got one, uh, two gears. And some other flowers. Ooh, do we go for the lupins? I like my lupins. And the bottom one is oh the cactus. So we're gonna go for another gear. So that's three gears in total. <gasps> Tall ferns, got eight of them. So three gears, four gears, uh, and what else is there? Mm, four gears. Five gears. One, two, three, four, five gears. So that's five gears for Nathan. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, these are six. What else has he got at this moment? I don't. Nah. Nah. <laughs> it's like, nah. Uh, Termite moans. Hmm. I've got lots of hide. Hmm. Don't need olivine, got plenty of olivine. Metal scraps. Oh, I like my metal scraps. Um Go on. Go on. We'll, we'll, we'll get we'll get we'll get some metal scraps as well. And we got one more there. So there we go. So Nathan gets another six off me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've been buying some flowers. <laughs> So there you go, another six, buddy. Uh, it, it saves me from basically getting it myself. Put it that way. Oh, what's that? He's just left it outside, mate. It's his fair, his fair juice now. You know. <laughs> right, anyway. 
So basically, that's quite a bit of stuff we've got there. So we've got all of these lovely flowers and stuff. We've got all of these as well. We've got some planters, so I can put, I maybe even put the ferns inside the planters. And I've got, oh, and I've got two scraps as well, which is absolutely fun. Dabby Adorze. Excellent stuff. So we're going to head back and we're going to place down some a load of flowers into the beautiful base of beautifulness. Yes, happy days. So planters first. We're going to place down our planters. Oh, there you go. So I've got some planters there. Uh, and I've got some there. So what else could we have? I think we could have them on the corners as well, couldn't we? Maybe have them right there. And we'll have the other one over here as well. There we go. There we go. Uh, let's see what the ferns look like first. Oh, nice. I like that. Yep, yeah, that's staying. <laughs> I like that one. There we go, lovely, lovely. Right, we're going to put some more ferns up here. So we're going to go for you and you. Great stuff. I'm going to put a little bit more there. You and you. Oh, happy days, happy days. Right, we're going to cover you up. I'm going to do that one there. And another one over here, me thinks. So we're going to do maybe one there. Yes, happy days. So I've got some more. Oh, I think we should do some along here. Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe some around this one as well, eh? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, beautiful. And we'll maybe we finish it off with some along here. Maybe you can go there as well. There we go. And let's have a little look down the bottom of the pier, the docks, as it was. And let's just see how we, uh, how the place looks to finish off this episode. By the way, this is for, um, I've got fat, so I'm going to be putting last name as well. Just so you're aware. There we go. And we'll come a bit, bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Let's get the whole thing in F4. And look at that, Bobby Dazzler, huh? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I think it's definitely going to be F12 in that for a picture. There we go. Nice and central. And it's down. There we go. Right, guys. Um, that's going to do me for today. We're going to do a few more episodes like this. Um, I can't start any large projects, uh, basically, at this moment in time, because I'm obviously awaiting for um, uh, another operation. Um, I'm pretty sure I mentioned uh, the fact I was actually waiting for the operation as well. I'm pretty sure I did at the start of the episode. Anyway, so I can't start anything major, because I'm probably going to be having an operation in the next six to eight weeks to solve or sort out with my problems. Anyway, guys, it's nice to see you again. I'm sorry it's, it's, I'm sorry it's taken such a long time, and it's been a bit of a weird episode. I'm so <laughs> I like your pause, man. Uh, but yeah, it's been lovely seeing you all again, uh, and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. All right, guys, see you all later. Bye, bye for now. Bye.